The Jewish Federations of North America are holding their uh, biannual Israel conference here in Israel this week uh, with a theme entitled uh, Israelis, we need to talk. In other words, they're pointing out that uh, American Jews are uh, six, more than 60% liberal and don't approve of President Trump. In Israel, the population is more than 60% conservative and they do support President Trump. And, uh, and the policies of President Trump seem to be good for Israel, and yet the liberals are still thinking that they have a, a, a right or an obligation to come here and straighten the Israelis out. I remember a friend of mine, a liberal, American Jew, who once told me, you know what, Jean-Patrick, we don't know, we don't understand. How could you elect Netanyahu? And I told him, you know what, Avram, we don't know, we don't understand how you could elect Obama. I don't believe that the conference you're talking about is about we have to talk. I don't believe it. I believe the title, the, the name of the conference is fake. They don't want to talk. They want to convince. They don't want to talk. When, when, have you seen the, when have you seen the liberal wanting to talk? They don't. They want to convince or force you. They're not here to talk. What do the Israelis know better about the reality of the situation, American Israel's uh, uh, and American policy for Israel? Don't, what do the Israelis know better than the uh, Jewish American Democrats? Of course not. If you listen to the liberal, they will tell you, they will tell the Israelis, how to vote, how to think, what they should think, and why they're wrong. The liberal knows everything. I'm joking around, of course. Of course. Yeah, yeah, you're being sarcastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, Ashkenaz Jew, we cannot prevent, I cannot not do it. <laughs> what can the Israelis teach the Americans about this, uh, the, the conditions under this administration? Uh, you mean what administration? About the uh, American uh, Trump administration. Well, uh, even the even the moderate left is happy with Trump. He moved the embassy to Jerusalem. He did not he did not follow the the European path for negotiation for peace, where they always have to ask Israelis to compromise and never ask anything from the Palestinian. And Trump said, uh, "Enough is enough." Okay, there is one more thing that Israeli can teach the liberal. Israelis are, have a strong common sense. It's a country of reality. Because you are in the middle of everything, you cannot, it's a small country, you cannot make a mistake because they are next door. Israelis cannot afford to make any mistake with the Syrian, with Hezbollah, with, the, with Iran, and with Gaza, Hamas, and all the other. So they have, must have common sense, it's survival. And what they can tell the liberal in, in, back in the state is this. We know what's better for ourselves. If we elected Netanyahu once, twice, and three times, it's because we know it's good for us. And you, you are far away. You have a vision from, from apart, from, from abroad. You're not here. But w in which city do you live? I live in uh, part-time in Tel Aviv and part-time in Los Angeles. Okay. In Tel Aviv, as I recall in the 2009 election, Sipi Livni's party uh, prevailed, got uh, greater from your city in Tel Aviv. You're claiming that the Israelis know more, know better for themselves, and yet here in Tel Aviv, then why would they vote against Netanyahu and for a more liberal candidate? Tel Aviv is a different is different from the rest of Israel. You know, sometimes people talk about the state of Tel Aviv, which means Tel Aviv is different. Tel Aviv is more liberal, but not totally liberal. When I told my, my liberal friend who lives in Tel Aviv that 30% of the Israelis living in Tel Aviv voted for Netanyahu, he was upset. He didn't know because he, he cannot read that in his newspaper. But anyway, Tel Aviv is a, is a, a bubble. It's a lefty bubble in a sane country. And you also have Haifa. Haifa, which is more Arab than Tel Aviv. Yeah, and uh, it's quite left. 
Oh, even, even, yeah. On the whole, even the, uh, the, the Jewish Israelis are more left? In, te- in Haifa, yeah, they are, yeah. They are the two more, I think, that the two most lefty po- pockets in uh, Israel. In a, in a big, well, big, in a small country of sane people, which is good. We need lefties. What, what do we need lefties for? We even, le- we even need, need far lefties. Why? Because when far lefties can speak their mind, can demonstrate in the street, this is the proof that we live in a democratic country, and I like that.